the diamond industry is seeing the biggest disruption in its history. Natural mined diamonds that take a billion years to form are being replaced by a lab-grown alternative that can be produced from scratch within a few weeks. The term is lab-grown diamonds. So what exactly is lab-grown diamonds? This video is all about that. Blood diamonds, diamonds mined through forced labor and even civil wars. Give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. The sparkling stone has been associated with dark tales since eternity. But you see, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Marlon Monroe's iconic number has even been a tagline that many adhere to. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. For man, it is the best way to propose his lady love. There's a ring. Holy shit, is that real? Yeah, they say three years salary. A real diamond is considered the symbol of true love. Well. Now a lab-grown diamond threatens the monopoly of the oh-so-precious diamond that has been plucked from the Earth's crust a billion years after its formation. But are lab-grown diamonds as real as the mined one? Definitely it's real diamond. Uh, there's no doubt that it's not a real diamond because when we talk about lab-grown diamonds, we say it's a pure diamond because the whole process is controlled and uh, there are certain amount of impurities which are, are available in the earth mine diamonds and in lab grown diamonds these impurities are uh, really rare and are not included so let's talk a bit about how diamonds are formed these incredibly pure carbon are formed under tremendous pressure and depths about 150 kilometers below the earth's surface they are then transported to the earth's surface by special volcanoes called kimberlites the miners then look for the deposits and then figure out whether it is economical enough to mine it. So from inception to becoming a piece of jewelry, diamonds take about 1 to 3 billion years. Meet Smith and Sanket Patel, the two brothers in their 20s who are trying to make these diamonds in labs in just about 45 days in these chambers. And how do they do it? To grow a diamond, you need three gases, which is uh, nitrogen, methane and hydrogen. These are the purest form that you can put in to create a diamond. And that's what we do here. The process which is happening inside the chambers is totally natural because we just give the ambience and the right pressure and temperature for the diamond to take the growth. And uh, the rest of the journey for the growing process is purely uh, by the atoms bonding by each other. Once these lab grown diamonds are made, which look something like this, they go through the process of planning, cutting and polishing. Artisans out here, they decide what shape fits the best according to the rough uh, size, height, length, width. And the aim is only to make sure you plan at an excellent cut, excellent symmetry and excellent polish. Because this is, uh, you know, lab grown, we can control that and uh, we can set up programs. So if a client wants something very specific, we'll be able to make sure we get that from the start to end. Machines are now growing diamonds in just a few weeks and cost just two-thirds of a mined one. But are these real? A naturally conceived baby and an IVF baby. When the baby grows up, we don't define the baby as uh, IVF. We call it a baby. So once the growing is done, once the cutting is done, it's a diamond. They even call it a more sustainable form of diamond mining. Cost of digging them out, destroying the soil, uh, disrupting the earth, right? To get one small carrot of diamond is very high and whereas here we have a controlled environment we produce solar electricity we have hybrid electricity and that's how we create i diamonds and we call it a better way of looking at diamonds so they're sustainable they're affordable and they're you know for everyone and what's the difference in terms of cost well if a mine diamond a carrot diamond would cost you anywhere about uh, nearly ten thousand to eleven thousand dollars i declare Bankruptcy! Whereas a lab-grown diamond will cost around $1,200 to you. So don't you feel that 
somebody might just buy it from you and then mix it with their diamond and then sell it as a natural diamond so all our diamonds at green lab are graded by gi and igi we are the institutes who grade diamond diamonds and we've got them certified as lab grown diamonds so from our end we are very very pure and very clean about what we are selling but uh, look you know everywhere there are some loopholes where people can be fooled on this so i would rather suggest them to understand what they're buying before they even invest in anything